Today I'm going to be giving Famous Logos holiday redesigns. If you're new here, I'm Tyler aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of things with logos. So if you are into that kind of thing, if you're into graphic design, if you're into the holidays, <laughs> then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I don't know why my cat is like deciding to purr as loudly as he can over here. So if you hear that, that's what that is. But basically today I am going to be doing this thing that I do a lot on my channel where I redesign famous logos, particularly for the holidays and give them some kind of pun related to that holiday. So when it was like, Halloween, I was doing a lot of spooky themes. And now for the holidays coming up, a lot of these are gonna be Christmas. But for today, I'm basically gonna be redesigning a bunch of these in Procreate, Photoshop, I think a little bit of Illustrator. And I think the ones that work the best are when the name has some kind of holiday themed pun within it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, up first is Fana, AKA Santa. So basically in Procreate, all I had to do was block out the F and then change it to an S. And I tried to make it a little similar of a style. And then I added on the white outline around it, just like the original logo has. After I did that, my idea really was to make the lower half of the circle kind of be like Santa's belly. So I made that red and I decided to put these little belt and other details on it to make it look like something Santa would wear. And I wanted the Fanta leaf to be like Santa's mustache slash beard. So I was gonna put his face on the top and I started doing that in Procreate, but I realized I need to do the rest in Photoshop. So I changed up the coloring a little bit and then it came to making the leaf white. I played around with a bunch of different things, but finally I landed on just coloring the whole thing white and then adding on some effects in the layers panel and finally landed on this. I love, love, love how this looks. This might be my favorite logo that I've made all year. It's just like so inventive, I feel like, making the leaf be the beard. I don't know. It's definitely looks exactly how I envision it in my head and I always love when something ends up like that. Okay, up next is Roblox, which I'm calling Snowblox. And so in Photoshop, I just found a very similar font and I erased the R and this is when I made a, a big error. For some reason, I decided to take the O from the original Roblox and put it at the beginning without realizing that I had typed out Snow Woblox. So I promise I will change it later. But then my idea was in Procreate to just add on all these like globs of snow, kind of similar to the Icy logo. And I'm glad I had that as a reference because I made the snow kind of pointy instead of soft. And I really think it adds to that kind of melting snow effect that I was going for. Um, and about at this point, I realized that it said Snow Woe Blocks. So instead of just being done in Procreate, I then had to put it back into Photoshop and I just rearranged it, took out the extra letters, and I did that using the selection tool. And here is that one all complete. I do really like this logo. I think it's very simple and clean. I just think it's something playful. Maybe Roblox doesn't need to necessarily call themselves Snowblox, but I think some more companies should be changing their logo for the holidays, particularly like winter, different seasons. This would just be an easy way to make your logo look like it's ready for the holidays without even changing the name if you didn't want to. And you can't do Roblox without doing Minecraft. And I did Minecraft for Thanksgiving, which we called Mine Corn, but there was definitely a better one for the winter time, which is Pinecraft. And I'm gonna make it look like the whole thing is a tree. So basically in Photoshop, I just had to create my own P that looked like the Roblox letters. So I kind of did a mixture of like creating my own shapes using the pen tool and also using the skew tool, things like that to get it to be the exact way that I wanted it. Then in Procreate here I am just adding, I changed all of it to brown and I'm just adding in wood grain. For some reason in art class in middle school I had to draw a lot of wood grain because it was like on the table. And so I actually knew how to do this without even having to really look <laughs> at any references. Then my idea was for the eye to make that be the actual tree. So I'm just trying to replicate the exact stroke size. And I thought about maybe adding in some shadows, but it didn't look that great. So lastly, I decided just to add on a star and here is that one all complete. I really, really, really like how this one came out as well. 
Also, ignore my cat. He really wants to get in that closet over there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I, I think this one looks great. I think it's definitely more of a, a better pun than Minecorn, for sure. And I think, honestly, the Minecraft logo just... They should have different logos for the different types of materials that are in Minecraft because the only one it has is the stone and I don't understand that. So maybe take a little inspiration from this if someone at Minecraft sees this and change up the logo every now and then for different types of material that are within the game. Okay, next I have Pringles, which I'm gonna call Kringles. So in Procreate, again, I'm just turning that P into a K. And someone also said it could have been Jingles, which I agree with, but I like that Kringles has all the same letters except the P in it. So I'm just changing that in Procreate. And my idea was to make the mustache be white, but then I realized that his face is already like snow white. So I had to give him a different skin tone. I figured we would just go with a variety of skin tones for this video since we're gonna have a variety of Santas in this video. So I decided to put a little Santa hat on him just to kind of really show those eyebrows no matter what background you're on, which is the thing I don't like about this current Pringles logo is if it's on a white background, you can't see the shape of the face. If it's on a black background, you can't see the eyebrows. So something needs to change a little bit there. But I basically just drew in a Santa hat, kind of basic on Procreate, changed the beard to white, and here's the final result. I really like him. I think he turns out very cute, but I really like the idea of changing the name to either Kringles or Jingles. And now we have Monopoly, which I'm gonna call Monop Holly. <laughs> so I found the exact font online. It's called Cable, Cobble, something like that. And my idea for this one is to add in the Holly to the end of the logo and then change the Monopoly guy to be like Santa. So I'm just resizing that here and then placing it where it needs to go and erasing everything that isn't needed. And to extend the Monopoly board part, I basically just duplicated it and then took the selection tool, grabbed the duplication and moved it over until it was in the right spot and it looked pretty good to me. I also selected his cane and made that in the front too. Then in Procreate, I just decided to give him a little Santa hat. I'm doing these on all different layers so that I can change them later without messing up the original logo. Um, I gave him a beard under the mustache, gave the cane, a candy cane effect, and then I just filled in the rest of it with the Santa suit, and here is that one all complete. <laughs> they are all so cute. I just <laughs> wish that they would, act, some of these brands would actually use these in real life. Not necessarily mine. I just, I think they could have a little more fun with it. I'm realizing, based on all these advent calendars and all this stuff, that the holidays are a huge marketing time of year. And I don't know why more brands don't change the physical logos themselves. I did see Google change theirs recently to look like little Christmas lights, and I like that. Um, but they don't change the name, which I get not changing the name. But I feel like it would be an easy switch to just throw a Santa outfit on the Monopoly guy, per se, and call it a new logo. Okay, up next is Xbox, which I'm calling Xmas. And I found the font online, so again, I just kind of did the exact same thing as last time. And my idea for this one is to make it look like a jingle bell. Um, so I looked up some references. It's kind of hard to get it to look like an X and a jingle bell, but I'm gonna do my best here. So using the pen tool in Photoshop, I just made the kind of like idea of the little seam on the bell, if that's the right word. And I made these little shapes again using the pen tool and I decided to duplicate them at the top. Um, it took me a little bit to figure out exactly how to do this. I basically just eventually spun them and put them at the top and reshaped them. And once I was done, it didn't really read as a jingle bell to me, especially because of where the seam was supposed to be. Went back and found some more references and I realized that at the top there's just holes. So that's why I went with this one. And I also went ahead and made the little tails be a little bit thinner. Um, and I put a line around the seam part just so you could really see it. And finally, to make it really ring home that it's a bell, no pun intended, I put a little loop at the top and here's that one all complete. Do I think it looks like an X? <laughs> no, I don't really think it looks like an X. But I will say it looks like a Jingle Bell. It says Xmas and it gives the slight hint of the Xbox logo especially with the colors and the placement of where I put those lines. So I will say it's a win, but it's definitely not one of my all-time favorites from today. Okay, up next is Jolly Rancher, which I'm gonna rename Holly Rancher. And I probably should have done this in Photoshop so that it would look perfectly clean, 
But in Procreate, I went ahead and added on that H and an outline on it. And then my idea for this really was just to give every single one of these characters a little Christmas hat. So for the apple, I'm giving him a little green Christmas hat. At and then for the watermelon one, I was gonna give it pink, but I decided to actually make it that green as well, just to kind of contrast it. For the blueberry one, I made a little blueberry one. And for each of these tiny little grapes, I made all of them have Christmas hats on. I didn't know if I wanted to make one big one or not, but I was gonna also make these purple, but it really needed that contrast from the green on the stem for this one as well. And lastly, I changed the green one to red. I knew it was coming. And then I made each of these little cherries, instead of cherries, be like their little hollies because of Holly Rancher. So I drew these little leaves on them and here's that one all complete. I really, really like this one as well. I mean, is it that different from the original one? No, but I think the idea of the cherries being holly leave, holly, holly berries are really cute. Okay, and last for the day, we have Kane's chicken fingers. And for this one, the idea is pretty simple. I'm just gonna call it candy canes instead of raising canes. So in Photoshop, I went ahead and just like mapped out where each thing was that I needed to be behind it or in front of it. And I made them their own separate layers. And then I found a font that looked pretty similar to the Raisin Cane's font and typed that out in yellow, gave it a drop shadow that was that exact same red color as on the Cane's one. And then I just got rid of the Raisin part altogether and resized it. Lastly, I just selected each part of the white in Cane's, made that its own mask off layer and then using the selection tool I just made these the slight hint of like bars all the way across it because I wanted them to look like the whole logo was made from a candy cane so then I just took a really big red brush tool on that masked out layer and here's that one all complete I think the logo looks good I think I did a good job replicating what I wanted it to look like but it does make me feel like these are candy cane flavored chicken fingers, and I don't love the idea of that. <laughs> but overall, I'm happy with how the logo turned out. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Okay, those are my last ones for today. Last Christmas, I made some of these for my TikTok account. So I don't have the original files anymore because my cat knocked off my entire external hard drive and I lost every file I've ever had from last year. But I do have the original TikToks, so I'm gonna go ahead and play those for you now just because I have eight more designs basically that you're not gonna see anywhere else, so I might as well show them to you right here. today I think of the ones I made for today I also think I have a bad tendency of doing this of putting them in order from like the very first ones are my favorites but I really love the Santa one I really really like snow blocks and I'm glad I caught snow woe blocks when I did <laughs> and I think I like the monopoly one I don't love the name but I love that little Santa guy <laughs> so those are my favorites from today if you have any favorites let me know in the comments and if you liked this video you can go ahead and like it subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for any more christmas holiday related logos and i will see you in the next one